everyone, VT Archer here, welcoming you to the wonderful world of StarCraft II, Wings of the Bitty. Been going through some videos. I've saved a few for a while now. I've been wanting to uh, put out a few replays. I played with a master here. I did fifth night, did 18 waves, this number, second time, I did 20 waves, I got a stank one that's pretty much standard on how to get a stank. Freedom's already put out. Today I want to do Habit. Habit I did on January 6th. Now, Habit is the name of a, care, of, a, of a person that I played with. Now I'm going to go through the video real quick because I want to remind myself of what happened. And I'll be back with you. Thank you. Okay, here we are at the uh, choosing screen. And I'm playing with a guy named Habit, like I said before. He says yellow. <laughs> I don't know if he's calling me chicken or not. But <laughs> he wants to do hard. Now here's the deal. Ask all, everybody when you first play a game, here's one of the things you get involved with. I asked him if he needs skank. I meant to say stank. Everybody knows it's a stank, not a skank. Although it's a skanky stank sometimes telling you. <laughs> Usually when they answer the question, it gives me an indication of whether they play this game or not on heart. And this guy's answer was honest. He just told me he hadn't played it before. Most generally say, what? Or they say, I don't know. Or this guy here says, I don't know, first timer. He's honest enough to say, hey, I'm a first timer. So that's why I like this guy. Whoops, I didn't mean to go up the speed. But I need to get it on his view, and not the science facility's view. And he looks around, and I say, you'll see what a stank is. I shouldn't have been funning with him. Because I actually like having A lot of guys come into a game, and they get in situations this guy got into, and they split. But he had the intestinal fortitude to stick around. And that's why I like him. Now, I'm going to try to call this thing a little bit of do's and don'ts. And I hate to use habit as a reference, Great. but the I'm going first waves to. Of Zerg are incoming. First thing you don't want to do is you get these medics. You don't split them up like this. The medic gets hurt. She can't heal herself. You're better off keeping every, all your troops in a ball together because they're going to be more powerful. Now he has a hunterling jump up here and start attacking this one and realize it's getting healed and jumps down and attacks a different one. But if he stood there, he could have taken all three out, especially if he jumped on the, on the medic. Coming through. Now everybody knows I like to uh, change my positions on uh, the bunker from here to here to here and put a door, but this guy's brand new to this, so he didn't know. But one thing you have to do is you have to put an SCV out here or you or two on hard you have to have two or you will lose the bunker and in this case well that's obviously what happens now here's the funnel deal you see the hunterlings getting hit by these two marines over here once they jump over there those marines stop shooting they're done shooting because they can't reach here they can reach where this bunker is and these guys can reach them in the center, but they can't reach the center. Because the bunker's in the center, they're all coming right at the bunker, straight at the first thing they see. Or if the bunker was back here, or there was a building here, they would go to one side or the other, and these would be useful. Right when they get to the bunker, you can shoot them. By the time they get to the bunker, it's too late to help. Comes a hunterlings, jump up there, down there, and kill that guy. Put on his view. And you see his bunker starting to get hurt. Tries to slow him down with the vultures, but the vultures are way too far back to help. Along with these marines, way too far back. Bunker's exposed. There's a hunterling out there. Hunterling comes up there. Medic heals him. He's good. Now it's not till they get to the bunker that the vultures come into play, and guess what? Bye bye bunker. Bye bye marines. 
Hole is open. That kaboomer will wipe you out. Now he asks for help. I like guys that verbally ask for help. They need help. Now in this case, he says help. I look at the clock now. Let's go in my view and see what it actually I do. My view. I'm going to go back 10 seconds because I might have walked over there before. Okay, he says help. But I know the time on the clock, the daylight's coming. There's a hunter laying out there. So I look when he says help, realize there's nothing to do because daylight's coming and stay put. Okay? Let's get back on his view. Now, if it was more time left, I would have gone over there. I've done it before for several people. But daylight was there. Boom. You know, they're gone. The monsters are all gone. Bad, bye, bad, bye, bye, bad boys. He's got one medic left. He lost the other one. They were together. They probably could have healed themselves up almost forever. Especially if he gets this update right here. That's very inc increases medic heal speed, reduces the amount of energy required for each heal, makes those medics amazing. they can stand there forever almost, healing each other while something's attacking them. On to the game. Now, happens to no position to go back out. So I tell him, build a good defense, okay? Now, you'll notice his dollar signs. He got attacked here earlier, too. Dollar signs down to 1-9. He's building them back up. I don't know why he's focused on the tech lab. He wasn't. That was me focused on the tech lab. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. So he's building two bunkers now. Now they're not back right. here. This sector is clear. Now, nice work, boys. He looks at my defense. This better be good. Okay. He's taking a gander at it. Okay. Let's see what I can do. That's why I like this guy. When I watch the replay, I like him even better because he's looking around to see how he can improve his situation. He's got two bunkers out to put some mines out. Now that's another don't. Although the mines are out of a pit a bit. That one's probably not a problem. That one might be a problem. I didn't notice whether it was. Put it on his view. Watch what he's watching. Now he's going to put a single solitary turret on the hill. If you don't put something up there to back it up on from the ground, the minute the spotter sees it, he's going to do what? Everybody knows it. Knows exactly what it's going to do. One turret by itself is useless. Set some guards. Got the SVB stamped there for now. Marines over here with the one medic. Still not of much use to him because they can't reach him. Except they got the hunterling. They did get the hunterling that came over the bat. The mines helped a little bit, and that guy's close enough for them to shoot at. SUVs help. See how much longer they last? He had to dodge out of here because a hunterling came in. On his view, I hate not having on his view, but I hate. There's a spotter that comes in on that side. If he came on this side, he would have had a lot better luck. But they'll come to the first thing they see, and the first thing they saw was this Marine. Of course, they took one Marine out. Whoops. Double clicking crap has got to go. But they're healing up the other Marine faster than he can get shot. See how fast she can heal? And down goes the bunker. Hunterlings come in. Now there's Spotter keeping those Marines busy up there. Trying to get it all with vultures and Marines down here without a medic. Well, thing is he gets attacked back here by the Spotter at the same time, which takes out his workers. I like the guy. He says, sorry man, this isn't, this isn't the game I thought it was. I'm not good at this base building. And I go, hard, yes? This is the question, yes. Yeah. But he stuck around. He comes down, gets his hunterlings come in, wipe out all his SUVs. He's literally broke. 
20 bucks. Daylight came. Saved by the daylight again. Now, I'm going to start defending all four corners now, all three corners, actually four corners because I'm going to come up here too. But because he stuck around, I mean, you got to help him. You got to do what you can do. If the guy's going to stick around, you do what you can do to help. Anyway, put on his view. He asked me, ask, he asked for a couple bucks. And I didn't mind giving it to him. I had plenty of time. Now that we can resource trade, you need more Sabis. Can I have a couple of hundred minerals? Yeah, I got destroyed. Uh, looks like that sector's And clear, thanks, because they gave him a thousand. And he starts building. Great. He's not giving up. I like that. He realizes he's got to do something behind his barracks. I mean, find a man center to watch out for them spotters. He's putting up turrets back there. Got another medic up and going. Medic shielding each other. I think that'll really help. Now, I don't know if you ever studied it. He's putting mines out to slow him down so he can get going. And he's got his guys going out. That must make him feel better. Did he study any of this? No, he didn't study any of that yet. And he, he got one upgrade. He's a 1-1. He's 1-1 Marines now. I gave him the thing. I gave him the Goliaths. So they're good against spotters. He parks one here and parks one there. Well, everybody does what they want to do. Nightfall in 30 seconds. But he's out destroying things. Not making him feel better. I'm out here doing something. Oh. Nightfall oh, comes. Nightfall. Comes back. Those creeps are going to be coming out of the woodwork any minute. What is that thing? I'm pretty solid here. I'm starting to build up this other defense. This corner. I told him we need tanks next. He says he understands by saying okay. Tunneling's come up. Got a Goliath up on that hill. Boomer comes in. He gets the FGBs over there to repair. Got the vultures taking them out. The vultures go out front, which is always a mistake. I don't care who you are. It's a mistake. Bring all your troops out in front of the bunkers. But... My, even with my guys coming over, it wasn't time enough to save that bunker. You couldn't believe the amount of military <coughs> chokers. Take care of that. Bye bye, medic. Bye bye, front door. Daybreak in 30 seconds. Nothing to help them with. They're all going to go away in daybreak. Don't forget. You have to now you would think, this is my opinion, and it might show how bad I am. This guy has had his front base, front door slammed down, crushed, three times. You, you'd, get, you'd think he'd get the attitude that there's nothing he can do right. But he stuck around. He stuck around and said, dang gummit, I got myself in this game, and I'm going to figure something out. So he's down to no front door again. He's got a turret back here and, a, and two turrets back here, and he's protected back here pretty good for hard mode. It's really good. I gave him the extra funding I had to get the tanks. And that's what he does. He gets the tanks. He's going to put all his building on his view and see what he does. I think that'll really help. Here comes the tanks. He's going to put a tank there. And a tank there. And he's going to bring him out. Now, here's another don't. Unless it's the fourth day of Brutal, and you're trying to get it done before the fifth night, leave your tanks at home. They're siege tanks, especially these two special operated ones. 
They're siege tanks. That's what they do. They siege up and they destroy things. You take them out on the road, you risk losing them. You can't get those two back. Now he's going to build a, the, the front door back up again. With bunkers. Now, you'd think, now he does look around at my base from time to time, but he's not getting the understanding of what's going on. Why are my bases holding up? I've still got these two bunkers here, but I'm about to replace them with that. Only because I had the door and nothing could get by. But he sees this, and he sees this, and he sees this, and he still builds these. He's got 1,100. And I hate to pick on him. I can't even talk to him again because I don't have his thing. And if anybody sees a guy named Habit, tell him he's got a video out about him. And I don't mean to pick on him, but you'd think after getting your base destroyed with just bunkers three times in a row, you'd say, hey, maybe I'll put a command center up. So if you're having issues, put the command center up, at least it's got some space. And one good thing about these two bunkers, they're set back further than the other ones were. So they're going to last a little longer because you're going to get some help up here. You see, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help them up in this corner with the spotters that keep coming in on him. And I'll put some Marines and some medic back, medics up here just to help them out in this spot. Let's go on with this building. How about lending a hand? This better be. The doctor is in. See, I'm out destroying this up here. He's working on this with his tanks, but he's going to put another bunker in here. This better be good. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he only goes with two. Let's put it on his view, see what he's looking at. He's watching his tanks. He's watching his, medivac, his medic and his marine. Comes back nightfall here. In 30 seconds. Okay, he sees that nightfall. Says, I'm coming back. I'm in deep. Now, he didn't put the third one up like I thought, but what does he have for a problem here? You guessed it. You can't fit a tank through that hole. Research. Looks like this area is secure. Keep here it up. he comes back with his tanks. Keep your eyes peeled. They get through. There's a hunter league out there. Guess what? The tank don't get through. So he has to take the bunker back down and get the tank through. There's a hunter. But he sees them up in a good spot. Except for one thing, there's no access to this hill now. Which is fine because I'm already up there. I've got SUVs for repairs, I got medics, I got marines, I'm already taking out this spotter that's coming in. Now when the spotter comes in, these other enemies see you, and that's why this guy's got to fix that, too. But he sees these tanks up in a good spot. Whoops, double-clicking again. But he still makes a mistake of putting these things out in front of the bunker. I come in with my other tanks, because this guy is coming. And by gorge, he eats bunkers for life for, for dinner. You take him out, and he barely holds on to this big siege tank. I leave these siege tanks there, get through and behind it, and get to my bunk mine. That'll help him out a little bit. He's just trying to put a bunker back there. Anyway, that is his uh, bunker's not full, and down it goes again. Oh, he repaired it just in time. I didn't think so. The other skank comes in this door, and I'll put it on. We're playing a hard mode, which means he can get the skank thing. The stank, I'm calling it a skank, a skanky tank. If this thing doesn't kill anything. So I got it on the stank. Got my tanks in order. They came to the right one. My SCVs are ready to repair this uh, planetary fortress. I'm losing my memory right now. And uh, off it goes. Okay. Here comes achievement, I tell them. 
Uh, and whoop, he says, and you got it? He says, yeah. And he's tickled, he got the achievement he didn't even know he wanted. That happens a lot. I ask them if they want, if they need stank when they get in. If they say, I don't know, or whatever, then I know they haven't played hard mode yet. Now he's putting three shirts up here. My little thing's still holding up that end of it for him. But he still put bunkers back in there. But now, he's got some military coming now. He's, he's feeling better about life, I hope. I hope he does anyway. Adam. My tank got hurt here too. I didn't even notice I'm busy doing other things. It'll get fixed though. There's an SCV right up there right now, working on things. Or no, he's not. Oh, he's stuck here. Dang it. Oh well. That's an excellent choice, sir. Got the tech reactors. I asked him how his money was. He nice said fine, and by the speed, he was right. 1300, he's good. Go time. He's got it defended back there. Gangway. He's got to put up another uh, to get heavy. refinery to help that out, but he's got 1900, so he's not Keep too worried about peel. it. This guy's CV got stuck, but he come back in. And that guy's Research stuck. Complete. Got his bunkers full. My guys just get back, they're a little weak. But I got plenty up here that are strong enough to hold on. Now, comes another don't. Another don't. Nidus worm. Please, people. Don't worry about the worm itself. Especially when it's outside the base. In night to die, they're inside the base, you gotta take them out. But in, when they're outside the base like this, on hard, brutal, I don't care, just worry about killing what it sends to you. Now they're gonna come in and they're gonna take out his bunker and his thing. These tanks will take care of them. They already took care of the first brood that came in. Here comes the second, plus the Marines. I got two SCVs fixing this thing. He's got one on that bunker. There's a hunter league out there. But here comes a big group. And I think this is when a bunker goes down. Now he gets all up, he gets worried here. This is why you don't go after He's got two pages of military here. He's got uh, one, two, three, four, six medics, vultures six there, uh, about a sixteen, nineteen marines, and uh, five marauders. He's sending them out. Okay? He thinks he he's new. He's new. He thinks he needs to go after this thing. He doesn't realize that these two tanks, and this will take care of the rest because they're not going to go over here and attack anymore. They're all going to attack this. But he's going to come out. He gets this far. He's looking pretty good. But you got to understand now, this, this right here has been clicked off. My tanks here have 75% less damage to... If, to uh, regular our troops, men, uh, allied troops, uh, less splash damage, but he's right in the splash damn, the splash zone. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm having trouble speaking. His troops are right in the splash zone of these tanks, and with 75% reduction in the damage, that's good. But there's still 25% left, and tanks like this hammer at 110. So every time you splash damage is out, 110 is reduced by 75%, it's down to about 90. There's still 20 to 25% damage left. And that, those tanks alone will wipe his troops out without much help from these guys. Although he get help, he realizes he's got a problem and he's backing up. Boy, there's a lot coming in. Sir, you better do something about but that. But now he stops right there. Now what's shooting him? The Marines are way back here. They can't reach him yet. 
These guys aren't touching them. You see this splash with this bang? That's my tanks. Our base gets a Daybreak in 30 seconds. Notice the, the getting killed by him slowed down once the target was out here. I tell him, don't worry about the worm, it dies daylight. Never worry about the worm, only what it sends to you. But this tank is killing more of his troops than they are. He goes over there, more splash damage, more damage. Yes, there's some Marines coming in, but they haven't reached yet. They're still walking forward. I hear a kaboom burning. Comes out there again. Now there are some getting hurt by the other things, but that's what his army's left. That's what's left of the army. That's the entirety of his army that he sent out there. That's a don't. Don't go out to those night worms outside the base. Let the tanks deal with them. They do a not, they do a wonderful job. Just don't, don't, just don't. I'm sorry. I said don't too many times. On with the game. Of them last night. You're always an inspiration. He's got the bunkers up here. Daylight coming. Day five. We got a lot of stuff to kick. Now I tell him to go out there, but he goes over here, which is fine. As long as he's taking his troops out and killing something. He's got the stank achievement. We need to get these buildings destroyed. I'm down here. Take care of business down there. So I want him to go up. I want him to go here and start there, but he can go there and start that way. I don't care. I don't care. Now, there was another don't that I wanted to point out. I can't remember what it was. Okay. Honest, it? Coming on it. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. See how low his medics are? 137 of 200. Trying to clean all these guys up. Trying to keep them happy. Oh, he did finally get it. Good. I thought they'd do better. Oh, he's only got two. For every 20, I like to, I like to have five medics if I can do it. Are they going to go up there and destroy all that? Oh, and the next donut is coming. I remember what the next donut is coming. Looks like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on. He's got a solid defense now with three bunkers. Can't get back in with the tanks. He didn't make any other tanks. Too many. He comes back. Sits around the center. He's got medics to heal everything. Here comes another stank. I think that'll really help. Now. There's a don't. If you want to get a tank, I made a mistake myself. I tried to make some more tanks by putting a reactor, tech reactor on the side of this building. But the side blast from this guy's butt damage takes that out and it counts as a kill. Now, he already had the tank, so I didn't worry about it. But if you want to get the tank, don't have that building there. And this next headbutt he does, boom, it's gone. Also lost the medic too. I mean, an SCB came over to try to fix it. Okay. So I don't know from my side. Now he notices his mineral file is getting lower. As is mine. That's an excellent choice, sir. I just did my major point dump. I hear a kaboomer. That means I'm pretty close to maxed out. Warning. Seismic disturbance detected. Night is warm. Now look at the difference. Here's his bunker. There's the night worm. Two, he's got he's two big siege tanks down here. He's putting up a turret, which I think is a waste of time because you can't get in there to fix this bunker now. Unless your SV gets stuck here. And then he's stuck there, he probably dies. But here comes the night worm. SV's in there fixing the bunker. Base is under 
Oh, turn. I thought that was, that was a different kind of turret. Sorry. There he is. Nice room's dead. And he didn't even lose a bunker. I'm willing to bet he didn't lose a single unit. Just by letting the tanks do their job. Yeah, the Marines came up and shot a couple, but man, I'll tell you, those tanks, those two tanks there will destroy anything in that circle before they can even really do any damage. Anyway, we're getting close to the end of the game. You must have killed thousands of them last night. Well, it's you. Now, he says he needs to expand. He's got this much minerals left in his thing. I mean, you never suck these out. 5,050 minerals. If they ain't going to fix anything in this game, I wish they would even out the minerals along the line. Don't give us any more. Just when <laughs> there's 5,000 here, 29 here, 1,000 here, and 90 there, something wrong. I got 4,100. Whoops, I double clicked on it. 2,500. And, uh... 805 and that mineral pile is gone. So you've got all these guys collecting off three lines. It's useless. You only need nine now, but what are you going to do with them? Are you going to spray them out over the place? Sometimes I do that. He's got all these guys. Now he was building some <laughs> SCVs. After I said SCVs mean money. <laughs> but he asked if he, he should expand, and uh, my obvious question is. The answer is no, never. You take a command center and build it and put it out here where there's a pile of... Here's what you get. Oh, am I going to put on everybody's view? Here's what you're going after. 1950, 1118, 1525, and 1625. On day six, with this many buildings left, even if you could collect them, same here. Twenty. Well, it's 32 there. 19, 17, 24. Even if you could collect them, even if you were days earlier, you couldn't hold it. Now, if you wanted to take a CC, a C command center and float it over with five, uh, one, two, three, four, five piles, five SCVs and Put them out there and then pick them up for the next day. Yeah, maybe, but you'll never in one time period of time. And Freedom knows this if he's watching. Be able to build up enough defense around that thing to defend what's going to come at it. With Nidus worms, Stank. The Stank launches right here. What's he going to do? He's not going to go to you. He's going to go right there. The uh, spotters, they launch around here. Where are they going to go? They're going to go right there. They launch here? They're going to go there. The actual stank that comes to this one here launches right here. So you're going to put an SUV or a command center here, and guess what? Stank's going to launch right next to it. What's going to happen? So don't. There's no need to expand. None. They put them on there as nice little targets, but hey. There's no need to do any expansion in this game at all. You can't even collect all the minerals you got. Plus, the science facility, once you get these two done, all the big bad boys, not all the enemies, but the big bad boys, the stanks, the spotters, the, the hunterlings, the kaboomers, are worth minerals instead of bio points. And besides that, Whoops, get it off everybody's view. Put it on his view again. I asked him if he's maxed out. Well, he wasn't quite 177, but he's close. So he says, yeah. I got some more units for him. He's at 192. And he says, yeah, he's maxed out. And he asks, we about to win? Well, if I look at this mess down here. Yeah. We're about done. to win. There's just a handful of infested bios. Got a minute and nine seconds left. He actually gets all his troops down here in time to take out the last building. I wanted to step back and let him take it out himself. Nightfall in 30 seconds. 
Game over. Good game. Good game, man. Cool. You put a word in there for his four letters. I like playing with Habit and guys like him. They're willing to accept help. And they did not give up. He stuck around. So many times you get in the game and five minutes in the guy leaves. Bad word. You try to figure out why by a lot watching replay. But sometimes they just suck. Pardon the language. But I don't mind helping people that don't play so well. I don't mind at all. I don't mind working with them a little bit. I Don't get me wrong. I'm not the best player on the planet. I'm not. Just been playing a lot of games. BT Archer over and out. Click the like button. Leave a comment. Thank you for watching.